en question. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. On. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. We now proceed to hear the statement of suffering and harm by a civil party. That is TCCP 117. Court officer, could you invite the civil party to the courtroom? Monsieur l'audience, veuillez faire entrer la partie civile en question, mon prétendu. Good afternoon, Madame Civil Party. What is your name? Le Bonjour, Madame la Partie Civile. Comment vous appelez-vous? Civil Party. Good afternoon, la Mr. President. My name is Bonjour, Paul Dina. Je m'appelle Paul Dina. Thank you. Question. Question. How old are you? Quel âge avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I am 60 years old. Je suis âgé de 60 ans. Question. Can you tell us your place of birth? Question. Pouvez-vous nous dire où vous êtes? Answer. Réponse. I was born in Kordak commune, Mukampo district, Kordak province. Question. Where is your current Question. address and what is your current occupation? Quelle est votre adresse et quelle est votre profession? Answer. Réponse. I live in Kampongsbu province, dans la province de Kampong in a Kap Tuk village, village de Kap Tuk. Kandal Dom commune, commune Chibamon district. Kandal district. Dom district de Chibamon. Currently, I Je work suis... in a laundry. Actuellement, Question. Je, je travaille dans une blanchisserie. What are the names of your father and Question. mother? Comment s'appelle votre père et votre mère? Answer. My Réponse. father's Mon name is Koi Po, Koi po and, and my mother's name ma is Preng Rain. Rain. Question. Question. Are you married? If so, how many children? Et le cas échéant, combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My husband uh, passed away Mon and I have a one child. Décédé. Un enfant. Thank you. As a civil party before this Merci. court, en tant que partie civile you are given an opportunity to make la possibilité a statement of sufferings and times que vous avez inflicted upon you materially, psychologically and materially que vous avez subi. which are the direct result of the crimes that occurred and that led you to become a civil party in this case and the crimes which have been charged against the co-accused, namely Nunji and Kyosem Paul, and, and which occurred during the Mukoti Kambuji regime, that is from 17 April 1975 to 6 January 1979. Do you make the statement after you have been questioned by the Council for Civil Party 
for you, the political lawyers requested uh, the assigned counsel to question you first before you make Dans your statement of our sufferings. Les convocats principaux pour les parties civiles ont demandé à ce que votre avocate vous pose des questions avant que vous puissiez faire votre déclaration de souffrance. Now the assigned lawyer, you may proceed. La parole est à l'avocate. Tisrina, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Maître President. Did you honor? Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Bon après-midi, everyone. Les juges, bon après-midi à tous. Good afternoon, Madame Podina. Bon après-midi, Madame Podina. I have uh, some questions to put to you. J'ai quelques questions à vous poser. I'd like to know a little bit of uh, your background in 1975, prior to 1975. Before 1975, where did you live? Où vous avant 1975? Answer. Réponse. Before 1975, avant I 1975, lived near the Thai Embassy, uh, near the Thailand. Royal Palace. Près du Palais Royal. Question. You stated that you were married. What was your What is your husband's name? Comment s'appelle votre époux? Answer. Réponse. His name is Sao Saren. Mon mari s'appelle Sao Saren. Question. What was his Question. Occupation. Et quelle était sa profession? President. Le président. Madame Civil Party, Madame please Madame observe a slight pause in between question and answer session. You should only speak after you see the red light on your microphone. À partir du moment où vous voyez le voyant rouge. Which indicates that yeah, the microphone is operational and, and your voice will go through the voice distribution system. Que votre, euh, et que vos propos seront Counselor, put a question again. Maître, veuillez poser votre question à nouveau. Counselor. Maître Tisrina. Uh, I'd like to ask you the name of your husband Je and what he did savoir. at the time and where. Les... Comment s'appelait votre mari et que faisait-il à l'époque? Answer. Réponse. His name is Sauceron. Il s'appelait... He worked in the Thai Embassy near the Royal Palace de Thailand at the time. À l'époque, proche du Palais Royal. Question. Question. You yourself, what did you do Et vous? back then? Quelles étaient vos activités à l'époque? Answer. Réponse. I worked in the kitchen in the Thai embassy. Dans les cuisines de l'ambassade de Question. What was Question. your livelihood? Can you describe to the court? Quel était votre style de vie? Answer. Our living Réponse. condition was Nos good back then. Bonnes. Bon, nous avions un we bon niveau de did vie. not lack in nous anything. Everything went rien. smoothly for our family. Pour notre famille. Question now I Question. Go to the year 1975. Can you tell the court en 1975. of your experience under the Khmer Rouge regime from the start till the end? And if you can do that in detail, please do so. Vie sous les Khmer Rouge à partir de 75 et ce jusqu'à la fin. Par on the 17 April 1975, Khmer Rouge soldiers entered our house and asking for the owner, and I replied that the owner was not ill, and that I was the one who 
guard the house. Et que j'étais I was asked repeatedly responsable de garder la maison. I on m'a posé the same la même question à plusieurs reprises et j'ai maintenu ma réponse. J'ai dit que je gardais la house, maison. On ne m'a pas cru. Ils sont entrés. Ils ont brisé les objets. And subsequently, my husband heard Ensuite, the noise. He came out. Mon mari est arrivé après avoir entendu du bruit. Il y avait quatre ou cinq soldats qui Ils l'ont pris au collège. Ils lui ont demandé s'il si était propriétaire no, de la maison. Mon mari we a répondu que guards. non et que nous étions les the concierges. Mais les Khmer Rouges n'ont pas cru mon mari. And they said because of his physical body, he Ils ont dit que vu son apparence physique, like il n'avait pas l'air d'un concierge. So he was bitten with the Mon mari bat, a été and he was frappé à coups de crosse de fusil. Il a reçu des coups de pied. Les soldats lui ont dit d'avouer qu'il était le propriétaire. Mon mari a maintenu sa réponse et je les ai implorés de ne pas maltraiter mon mari. Ils ne m'ont pas écouté. Ils ont continué à à le it rouer de coups de pied. Ce spectacle m'était douloureux. Then they tied his hands Ensuite, behind his back. ils lui ont ligoté les mains dans le dos. I to back them at their feet Je to me suis him. mise à genoux devant eux pour qu'ils relâchent mon mari. So J'étais terrorisé. After my father, uh, my husband was tied up, they kicked Après him. avoir ligoté mon mari, ils l'ont frappé. And Prince Trunkantor heard a of what pied. happened. He came out and asked them not to mistreat my husband. They did not believe the prince and they kept torturing my husband. Qui a dit d'arrêter, mais ils ont continué à supplicier mon mari, ce qui était très douloureux. Then they Ensuite, decided to release my ils ont décidé husband. de relâcher mon mari. I unfolded or untied my husband. J'ai défait soon liens, afterward, uh, they left my house. Et un peu après, les soldats sont partis. Then at around 8 o'clock at night, there was another Vers group of soldiers who came to our house again. Uh, they threatened us uh, to leave Ils our house immediately. They need to reorganize the city. We begged them on ville. our knees uh, that uh, we uh, would leave the house, but let nous us leave in the morning. Because uh, if I had to leave uh, le matin, uh, immediately, then I would not have any belongings uh, with, with us. Then those soldiers did not listen to us. Uh, they uh, warned us that if uh, they, if we uh, fail to leave uh, immediately, they would destroy everything. They threatened our life too. At the time, we had no choice but uh, to leave our house. We had a motorbike with us. We rode on the motorbike all the way to Monivong Bridge. I noticed uh, that uh, there were a lot of people marching out of the uh, city. Uh, we could move only for approximately five meters or so. We got stuck uh, with uh, the people, but we had to keep on walking. We just uh, went on and on. Uh, we uh, slept on the way 
and uh, we just went on without without knowing where we were heading for. We went uh, we went on walking until we fell fainted. I fell fainted and my husband also fainted because we were physically weak. We were bitten and on the way uh, our life was miserable. We stayed one night on the way and then the next morning we would go on. It took us a few days uh, to get to Prague Ain. When we got to Prague Ain, we heard through the loudspeaker uh, that those who came from Phnom Penh had to come to register their name. Those uh, uh, some people went to register Certains their names, and my husband wanted uh, to go and register his name, faire. but uh, I uh, warned him that uh, the situation Mais was not uh, good, so we uh, had better not uh, register our bon name. We just uh, went on walking. So we kept walking uh, forward. It took us uh, three days to reach uh, Prek Aeng uh, Pagoda. We stayed overnight uh, at this uh, pagoda. And then the next morning, uh, we arrived at Troy Taprum, and we were heading for my hometown. My hometown was in Sakakel uh, Pagoda uh, through Araisat Prek Luong. Uh, and to Koh Dak uh, village, Mukumpul uh, district and Kandal province. When we got there, they uh, once again called us for a family registration. Uh, we registered the members of our family, and they uh, categorized us as the 17 APRO people. They called us the 17 uh, APRO people. They told us that we were the 17 April people, so we could not uh, stop over there. We had to go on walking, and I begged them to stay there uh, for some time because we had been tired, and they refused. They said that uh, they were uh, in they, their village was uh, in the uh, state of a shortage of food supply, or so so we had to go on. So we um, continue to. Um, donc ce que nous avons fait. Travel, travel, uh, counsel. Um, Madame, I know that uh, you Madame, are going rather fast. Uh, let me uh, ask you um, a bit of the uh, situation when you actually left Phnom Penh. Did you observe any uh, situation uh, that uh, was worth mentioning here when you were leaving Phnom Penh? Now, to make it easy, I would like to uh, ask you for, for example, any uh, situation like people dying on the street or uh, the food ration you receive or the difficulty in general you encounter when you were leaving Que vous avez en quittant Phnom Penh. Response. We uh, did not have uh, food, we did not have uh, pas à spoon or pas cooking pot or, or anything at all uh, to prepare our food along the way. Life was miserable. Les conditions de vie étaient atroces. We, when we were on our move, we also uh, saw soldiers from the Lonnol administration were uh, tied up together and they were frog march in line. I was very frightened uh, by the scene. I wonder of what would happen to my family. We do not have any idea of uh, the fate of our family. We don't know when we will die, but uh, we, of course, uh, saw the dead bodies uh, along the street. 
Council. Thank you. You said uh, you reached your hometown. When you got to your hometown, did you encounter anything uh, in your family uh, or was there anything that uh, caused uh, trouble or difficulty for your family when you first reached your hometown? Avec votre famille. Response. Once Réponse. I got to my hometown, we did Une not have any shelter natal, to take. We did not have not even a small piece of Dutch nous, roof uh, to, to stay. We did not have any roof over our head. And nous, as for food supply, we did not have any rice and we did not have any other ingredients uh, for uh, food. We did not, we were hapless, uh, and for a few days they would um, distribute uh, four cans of uh, rice for us. That was the food ration uh, allowed to us. And at during the day times, we had to work uh, on the rice fields, and then in the evening or at night, uh, we were required to um, drain water into the rice field. Uh, question. Did you stay in your hometown uh, the entire period of the Democratic Kampuchea, or you had to move somewhere else? Response. No, I was not allowed to stay in my hometown for the entire period. In a matter of a month, uh, they would come to uh, take the statistic of my family members Chaque and they sent us away. We had to get on board the mm. boat and then uh, we disembark uh, the village uh, to somewhere else. So those who were considered the 17 April uh, people had to leave even Les though we begged them not to move us uh, anymore, si but uh, they said that we uh, were the uh, new people, so we had to leave and those and base people remained in the village. So we uh, had no choice but to register uh, our name. And then uh, they, one night uh, they call uh, the 17 people, 17 April people to uh, get on board the boat. And one boat uh, carries some uh, 30 to 40 families. There were two decks of uh, the boat. I was uh, in constant fear. I did not know what uh, would happen to me and my family, and they confiscated the belo our belongings, uh, including our motorbike as well. They told us that we must not bring anything along with us. Uh, we only uh, brought along the uh, daily necessity, uh, necessity. Uh, and at that time I did not even bother to bring along with many belongings because I, uh, first of all, want to only save my life. And we, the 17 people, uh, 17 April people, uh, got on board the boat and we were heading for heading northward. And uh, the boat took us for two hours, and then we got to one uh, pier. It was um, I did not know the whereabouts of this uh, pier. And then uh, 20 or 30 uh, family member got off the boat, and we got on the truck, and they took us away. At that time. Uh, people were very hungry. They did not have anything to eat, uh, particularly young uh, children. At that time, the uh, situation was chaotic and confusing. Nobody uh, knew what was happening. Uh, children were separated from their family, and uh, children were uh, crying. And we were actually uh, traveling, and we did not know where we would be going. It was in the night. It was dark everywhere. We did not know where we were going, and then the next morning um, uh, we arrived in Po 
Bosat, I asked people where we were now, and they told me that these were Bosat province, and then I uh, knew that I was in Bosat province, I was quite far from my hometown now, and I got even more terrified uh, by this uh, news. Uh, I did not know about uh, the fate uh, of our family, I did not know what my life would end up uh, in Bosat province, because I was too far away from my hometown now. Then uh, the uh, unit chief uh, received us and then they uh, put us in the uh, cooperatives and the groups uh, based on the uh, family divisions. Uh, they uh, put us uh, into different cooperatives based on the numbers of family uh, members in the family. We did not have roof over our head uh, at that time. They actually uh, uh, made us sleep uh, on the uh, earth. We, uh, our living condition got uh, desperate and uh, worse each day. We did not have any shelter, we did not have any food, we do not have any exact location to stay. Uh, we have to sleep under the shade of the tree uh, during the daytime, and then we, uh, at night we just uh, slept on the, uh, the earth. And then for about a month I was uh, evacuated to Swai Saw Cooperative, and over there, there were around 10 families. Uh, we um, uh, went there, and when we got there, we did not see any shelter for us at all. Uh, life was completely miserable. And the misery came to my family. At that time, they assigned my husband to plough the rice field. The first time my uh, husband came, the second time my husband came, and the third time he disappeared. Mysteriously, he never returned. I have lost him ever since, as for my only child. Council, may I interrupt you before uh, you describe uh, about the uh, your life condition over there? I would like to uh, ask you about your husband. You said uh, your husband never returned on the third time he went uh, to plowing the field. Were you trying to look for him at the time? Response, when I did not see my husband, I did not know who to ask ne le voyant plus, for him. Je ne savais Where pas to look à for qui him. demander de ses nouvelles ni où me mettre à sa recherche. I asked people whom I got uh, to know. They told me that they did not know. They only knew that he went to the rice field to do the plowing. I did not know. I had no idea who to ask for. I had to wait for him for months or two months later. Then I heard the rumor that my husband were taken for re-education. And at, upon hearing that sad news, I was shocked. I was waiting for my husband. I waited waited for him and he never returned. Mon mari, je l'ai attendu mais il n'est jamais réapparu. I life was unbearable after La hearing this news. Ma été insupportable à l'annonce de cette nouvelle. Counsel. L'avocate. So back then, uh, do you have any idea why your husband were taken for re-education? Saviez-vous pourquoi votre mari avait été emmené se faire rééduquer? Response. Réponse. I heard it through a rumor uh, that my husband was a colonel. Par le bouche à oreille, they were al uh, they alleged my husband of being a colonel of the previous regime, and then they arrested him and sent him for re-education based on this allegation. But in fact, my husband was not a colonel. He was not a military personnel. I felt very depressed, and I felt despaired because I know that my husband would probably never return. Quand and que je ne plus mon mari. Then uh, a militiaman uh, came to eavesdrop 
me. Uh, they militia. actually followed me. Uh, they wanted to suivre, find out whether or not I was the wife of a colonel. I waited for my husband and I learned from others that once he was sent for re-education, that was destined si for death. I fell sick. I fell sick and I was very weak. I got weaker and weaker because I have lost my loved family. I have lost my lovely, mourir. my beloved husband. J'ai perdu ma famille, j'ai perdu le mari que j'aimais. They accused me of being a spouse of a colonel. They mistreated me. Uh, they made me work extremely hard. On m'a fait travailler day and night. Extrêmement pénible. I felt sick. Je suis tombé malade. And I. I felt very sick, uh, so sick that I could not go anywhere to get even the uh, food ration I was supposed to get. I had to make my uh, small six-year-old son to go and fetch uh, the uh, food ration we were given. And then when he came back, uh, he carried uh, with uh, him uh, he, with uh, only a small bit of uh the bean uh, and corn a few de maïs, crops of corns and uh, beans and, and then when he got uh, close to my house uh, he uh, fell down and then he spilled over arrivant, the bean crops and corn crops and then he was crying so hard because he was afraid that I would blame him I would beat him uh, he uh, apologized to me that uh, he had a spill uh, these uh, food rations and uh, he and I told my son that I I would not mind him uh, question, uh, Madame, you? please, uh, please uh, relax. Uh, do you want to uh, relax for a minute or two uh, to compose uh, yourself? If you need uh, time to relax, I will uh, make an application to the President. Uh, then you can uh, relax for a few minutes to compose yourself. Dans ce sens, au Président, pour que vous puissiez vous détendre pendant quelques instants. Council, can you go on? Respond, yes. Question, so I would like to now uh, move on to uh, your uh, son. So after the disappearance of your husband, uh, what uh, happened to your son? After learning that my husband Réponse. died, Après my son also fell sick. Mari, mon fils, lui aussi est tombé he was sick because of starvation. He did not have food uh, to eat. De la faim, car il pas à he became very sick and I il did not have any malade. idea how to get uh, medicine uh, for uh, my son. His uh, limbs were swollen Ses and uh, we only had uh, the rabbit dunk uh, pill uh, to administer. I was very pitiful. I was very sorrowful for my uh, son. I know that uh, he was dying. He was dying. I witnessed him. Uh, he said uh, he was very starving. He starved and he begged me for food. He said that he was starving. He could not stand anymore. And he died in front of me, starving. De fin sous mes yeux. So after that, my son died of starvation. I 
feel very painful beyond word can describe. I love my son dearly and he left me and he died in front of me because of starvation. I feel very pity on him. He was starving and as a mother I did not have anything to feed him. I feel resentful and I feel angry with myself that I could not have my son and he had to die because of this starvation. The pain was unbearable upon seeing the death of my child. Cancer, please recompose yourself, Madame Civil Party. Counselor, I will put another question to you. Je vais vous poser After the loss of your husband and your son, Après la mort did you experience any other mari unfortunate de votre events? Fils. Que vous avez connu and what was the condition épreuves? in the area that you live? Quelles étaient les conditions de vie là où vous étiez? Answer. Réponse. I later heard that my Plus tard, mother became seriously ill. J'ai entendu que At ma mère était tombée gravement malade. At that time, she was looking after the uh, children unit. Elle s'occupait so de l'unité des enfants. So I asked for my permission to visit my mother, but my request de was denied. They mère, said that I was not a medic and refusé. my mother was being looked after by the medical staff and that I should focus on the work assigned to me by Ankar. I made another request but it was turned down demande, again and then later on I decided to suite, run at night to visit my mother in the hospital. She passed away and I was not allowed to go near her. Elle she, est her dead body was placed on an ox cart and I requested to bury her body but my request was turned down again. J'ai demandé l'autorisation d'enterrer son corps mais cette demande a une fois de plus été rejetée. I requested to see her for the last time but I was not allowed to. Mais je n'y ai pas été autorisé non plus. I was told that I should not uh, worry about that as she would be buried by the medical staff on and I was uh, chased away. Se chargerait de l'enterrer. It was Et painful not to see my Ça a été pénible mother for the last time. Pouvoir revoir Ma mère, une dernière fois. She was later on placed on an ox cart amongst several other dead bodies and taken away dans une à for burial. I did not know where she was buried. Mais je ne sais pas à quel endroit. I almost became crazy upon the loss of all my beloved ones. Avoir perdu tous les êtres qui chers. My life was like a woman in the Cambodian folk tale that I lost everyone, my husband, my mother, and my son. Cambodian, I no longer had any chers. hope with me. Ma mère, mon mari, mon fils. My life uh, would become meaningless as Ma vie était privée de tout all sens. the valuable to my life, that is my beloved ones, all cher, left. Tous les êtres qui cher Cancer, Madame, please uh, recompose Avocat. yourself so that uh, we can uh, conclude de vous this uh, session as we only have limited time. Cette déposition, car nous ne disposons que d'un temps limité. Je passe à ma question suivante. After the loss of your Après la perte husband, de votre mari, mother, de votre fils et de votre mère, what became of your fate? 
qu'est-il advenu de vous Avez-vous traversé d'autres épreuves Answer. Réponse. I lost my beloved J'ai perdu husband, les êtres qui m'étaient chers, and parents. mon mari, ma mère, I mon fils. Par la suite, j'ai été forcé à me remarier, mais j'ai refusé. À ce moment-là, on m'a It was a prison de without coups. walls. Et on m'a emprisonné. C'était une prison sans mur. J'étais gravement battu avant d'être interrogé. Question, vous a-t-on interrogé Answer. I was interrogated and they said that why I was so stubborn and not follow the direction of Hong Kong. Si têtu et que je ne suivais pas les instructions qu'on m'avait données. That and they warned me that I would be smashed. Ils m'ont prévenu. I did not respond. I kept quiet and they just kept beating me up and detained me. J'ai gardé le silence et ils ont continué de me battre. Detained me. Ils m'ont détenu. In the prison, I witnessed several other events. Alors que j'étais en prison, j'ai été témoin de certains nombre d'événements. I saw a man. He was tied up and he was blindfolded with a plastic bag. His hands were tied behind his back and his chest was tied. On avait attaché ses mains dans son dos, il avait attaché par un sac de plastique, on lui demandait s'il était un soldat de l'Onol, il répondait que non, il n'arrêtait pas de lui poser la même question, était-il si le soldat de l'Onol, il répondait toujours la même chose, et il continuait de le battre. Je tremblais alors que je regardais cette scène, j'étais très choqué. On m'a... J'ai subi des tortures physiques. C'était très difficile, très douloureux pour moi. Deux ou trois jours plus tard, quand je suis tombé malade, on m'a envoyé à l'hôpital. Et quelques trois semaines plus tard, quand je me suis rétabli, Pick up a piece of paper and then I wrote a request to be transferred to another unit in a farming unit. Muté dans une autre unité, une unité de farming unit for a while before I was transferred to gather rice in a Chiriroon Cow. As Vain Don a Chiriroon as Vain Don Cow pour la récolte du riz. Je suis dans une ville à Vain Don Cow près de Chiriroon. I was in the area to rice the et j'étais là. Je transportais du riz. I witnessed other events over there. Et j'ai été témoin de certains événements là-bas. I witnessed with my own eyes that people were arrested. De mes and lined up and que les gens avaient été arrêtés, ils ont été mis en fil were with a et on les a poignardés à coups de baïonnette. J'ai pris peur et je me suis enfui. And I returned to, uh, the place where I stayed. Je suis rentré là où je demeurais. And about a fortnight later, I was transferred once again to collect the cow dung for rice fields. I did what I was told. Pour les and then I saw the Easter people with the blue scarf on their necks, and they asked me to pick the rice, the rice grains. Ils m'ont dit de ramasser les grains de riz. I saw the Khmer Rouge 
soldier standing in a row and started opening a fire at those people from the east. I was hiding myself under a tree. I was trembling and my hand was beating very fast. I was trembling and my hand was beating very fast. My heart was beating very fast. I did not want to leave the area in case that they would see me. So I kept sitting there under the tree. Donc je suis resté caché sous cet arbre. After it, the situation went quiet. I quietly left the area. Après que le calme soit revenu, je suis parti discrètement. So I returned to my place again, and I was given food. Une fois que rentré là où j'étais, on m'a donné de la nourriture. And at night time, le soir, I was assigned once again to go up the mountain. On m'a envoyé une fois de plus à la montagne. I cannot recall the actual year, but the situation at that time was rather confusing. Mais c'était une période de confusion. So there was a group of us who went up the Xamxan mountain. Certains, un groupe d'entre nous, nous sommes montés dans la montagne Xamxan. But I actually did not want to go, as I actually was standing on the north side of the road, but the people who were on the south side were gathered up to go up the mountain. Route, ceux qui étaient au sud de la route, c'était déjà regroupé pour pour grimper, pour monter. And actually, attempted to break my legs, and the scars that remain with me today. On m'a battu, on a même cherché à me casser les jambes. J'en ai porte encore les cicatrices. Became unconscious. Je suis tombé sans connaissance. I was massaged and assisted by other people, and they put me and carried me in a hammock. Et ils m'ont mis dans un hamac pour me transporter. I. Suffered a great deal under that dark regime. Sous ce régime sombre. I suffered mentally and physically. J'ai souffert mentalement. Et physiquement. We were instructed to go up the mountain, and we stayed up the mountain for a while. And we were asked. Nous devions aller dans la montagne. Nous devions y rester un certain temps. To dig up the stem trees, and for one stem tree, four of us was assigned to. Dig it up, and we had to complete it. But as we could not complete it, then the four of us were beaten up. On nous avait dit de retirer, d'arracher une souche. Nous n'avons pas été capables de le faire, et donc les quatre d'entre nous avons été battus. On m'a jeté par terre. Je me suis frappé le genou sur un arbre. C'était très douloureux. Counsel. Did you make any mistake at the time? Have you committed a fault? That you were caught while making that kind of a mistake. And was it reproached a fault? Answer. Vous a-t-on réprimandé pour des fautes que vous avez commises? Se reprend un temps. Later on, I was transferred from the. Three stem digging group, digging group, and then I was put in the plantation group. There were twelve people in that group. There were twelve people in that group. And we actually made a mistake by going through another area beyond the area where we, we were assigned to and then we were arrested and detained and shackled with a chain. Attribué. Et donc on nous a et and on nous a at, the, at that uh, prison, upon entering or going out of the prison, prison, we would be beaten up. Et quand on a la chaque fois qu'on entrait pour en sortir de la prison, on nous battait et on nous mettait des entraves aux chevilles. J'ai souffert dans cette prison pendant 4 ou 5 jours. Le matin, je suis sorti pour aller faire du travail et j'ai trouvé le moyen de m'évader. Je suis retourné dans mon ancienne unité pour dire au chef d'unité have the rest of my group members released.
de faire libérer les I autres membres de mon groupe. Bad events, uh, during the regime. Sous le régime, je n'ai vécu que des difficultés. You stated that you lost your husband, not your son, Vous dites avoir perdu votre mother. époux, votre fils et votre mère. Besides these three beloved ones, à part did you seul, lose any other relatives or family members? Avez-vous perdu d'autres membres de votre famille? Answer. Réponse. I also lost my elder brother. J'ai aussi perdu mon frère aîné. Who also worked at the Thai embassy. Qui travaillait lui aussi à l'ambassade de Thaïlande. He, his wife and the children. Lui, son épouse and et leurs enfants. And the brother who was a naval officer, a colonel in Cambodia. He also disappeared. Il a disparu. And my younger brother disappeared Et, as euh, well. Un de mes plus jeunes frères a disparu lui aussi. I kept searching for them in 1979. À partir de 79, j'ai suis parti à leur recherche. I kept asking for them everywhere. Partout, I was je told. Je demandais leurs nouvelles. Uh, sometimes I was told Parfois that they died. Sometimes I was told that they saw uh, them here or there. Vu. And I kept uh, looking Et for j'ai them. Continué de and I was still hoping uh, that uh, they survived and Et I toujours and they disappeared survécu. since the day. Mais ils ont Question. Disparu là, ce jour. When do you keep at your hope and try to search for your vous family members de retrouver votre famille. and you have not found them, what is your feeling? Plutôt. Vous avez gardé espoir de retrouver les membres de votre famille et pourtant vous ne les avez toujours pas revus. Comment vous sentez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I lost everyone. J'ai perdu. My husband, tous mes attachés, my child, my mon mari, mon enfant, mother ma mère, and my siblings. Et mes frères. I am suffered. And I still bear the pain inside me. Et j'ai encore I cette douleur. I almost went psychotic. My memory. J'ai perdu la raison. It's not that great Ma anymore. mémoire n'est plus très bonne. My mind is still thinking Et about the beloved family members who passed away. Aux membres de ma famille. President, qui sont décédés. the floor is now given to Le the prosecution not to put a question to this civil party. L'accusation. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. And good afternoon, um, Madam Podina. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I have Madame just a, a few questions Podina. for you uh, que this afternoon. Que vous posez, um, first, you mentioned uh, earlier when you were describing uh, your force movement from Phnom Penh, you indicated that you saw Lonel soldiers who were tied up together and being frog marched. Uh, can you tell us where it was that you saw this? I saw Lonel soldiers being tied up. Réponse. That was during the confusing time when everybody was a living in It happened at around 4 a.m. Tous les uns aux autres. C'était pendant la période chaotique où tout le monde quittait Phnom Penh. And where, Et where in Phnom Penh, Pen, if you remember, Question, where, where did you see Pen this? Où avez-vous vu cette scène? Yes. Réponse. When I saw it, oui. it was near the area of Bang Snow. Quand je l'ai vu, c'était près de Bang Snow. While I was walking along the uh, road, Alors they were being route, walked on the opposite direction. Ils faisaient marcher en file indienne de l'autre, en l'autre, 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 l'autre direction. C'est-à-dire, c'est-à-dire qu'ils se dirigeaient vers Phnom Penh. 
Uh, thank you. The uh, second uh, area that I wanted to ask you about, uh, you mentioned how you are required to register your name or your family's name at some point. Can you tell us, uh, in addition to registering your name when you arrive at certain locations, did you have to provide other information about you and your family, uh, information such as who your relatives were and what you had done uh, prior to 17 April 1975? Could you please repeat your question? I don't really get it. Pouvez-vous répéter votre question car je n'ai pas bien compris. You, you talked question. a little bit about having to register vous avez your name. Que vous deviez inscrire votre nom. My question is, did the Khmer Rouge donc, require si other information about Khmer you Rouge and your family, such as who your relatives were exemple, and what you had done before April 1975, what your occupation or job was? 1975, At that time, the announcement was made on a mobile loudspeaker that the people who used to work in Phnom Penh had to register their names so that they could be returned to Phnom Penh. But I did not know about the registration. I only heard about the announcement. But I did not want my husband to register because I did not want to be separated from my husband. Was there any time you indicated that your husband was accused of being a colonel uh, in the Law No regime? Was there any time where the Khmer Rouge found out that you had a brother? Uh, a brother who was the colonel Mais in the Navy in Kampong Chenang. Les Khmer Rouge ont-ils découvert que votre, vous aviez un frère qui était colonel dans la marine à Kampong Chenang? I already arrived in Pusat. And they actually researched our background. J'étais déjà arrivé à Pursat. Ils ont fait des recherches sur nos antécédents dans mon village natal. On a accusé mon mari d'être colonel. Et lorsque nous étions à Pursat, ils ont observé une particulière feature de mon mari et ils ont accusé lui d'être un colonel. Mais en fait, il travaillait en tant qu'assistant dans la Thaï Embassy. Mon mari, on l'a accusé d'être colonel, mais en fait, il était simplement adjoint. Who was indeed a colonel in the navy and stationed in the Kampong Chenang? Alors que mon frère biologique, lui, était colonel dans la marine et était posté à Kampong Chenang. My last question to you, Madam Podina. You indicated that when you got to Pursat, that they did some research into your family background. My last question is: Can you just tell us how it was that they researched your family background? Did you have to provide biographies? Did they come to ask you questions? Can you tell us just a little bit about how that happened? Can you tell us just a little bit about how that happened? Can you tell us just a little bit about how that happened? Can you tell us just a little bit When we arrived in Pusat, they researched our background and the background of those who used to be former soldiers. My husband said he was a motor dog rider and he lied to them. He did not tell them that he worked. 
That's what uh, he il told them. Il n'a pas dit là où il travaillait réellement. C'est ce qu'il leur a dit. Uh, thank you very much, um, Merci Madam beaucoup. Civil Party, Madame for coming here today and for uh, answering our questions. Mr. Mr. President, we have no other questions. Monsieur le Président, c'est tout pour nous. President. President, thank you. The floor is Merci. now given to Nunchi Stephens to put questions to the civil party. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Sonarun. Maître Sonarun. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Bon Madame, Messieurs les juges. I only have two questions Je for the civil party. Madame Civil Party, you already replied to the questions that put to you by the assigned counsel for Madame Civil Party, but uh, I was unclear. And for the proper transcript, allow me to clarify this matter. When the Khmer Rouge entered Phnom Penh on the 17 April 1975, and your husband Votre mari worked et in vous Phnom Penh. Where did you work and Phnom Penh. what Où -vous? was your role? Et, et que -vous? Answer. On the 17 April 1975, Réponse. Le 17 April 1975 I worked at the Thai embassy with my husband. Avec mon mari. It was just to the northeast of the royal palace au nord du palais royal question when the khmer rouge entered the house where you worked quand les khmer rouges sont entrés dans le bâtiment the khmer rouge asked for the owner of the house and correct me if i am wrong je demandais qui était le propriétaire pour que je me trompe vous avez répliqué que vous avez répondu plutôt que vous n'aviez pas, vous n'étiez pas le propriétaire. Puis votre mari est venu, on lui a posé la même question, à savoir s'il était le propriétaire du bâtiment. Il a répondu que non. Est-ce exact? Réponse, c'est exact. Nous ne sommes pas les propriétaire mais simplement les gardiens and de cette maison. My husband actually replied uh, to them the same mari, thing and told them chose. that the owner was not in. Nous leur avons dit que le propriétaire n'était pas là. Question. Question. What did you observe of the Khmer Rouge soldiers who entered the house? What kind of clothing or uniform Les soldats Khmer Rouge qui sont entrés dans le bâtiment. Pouvez-vous nous dire ce qu'ils portaient, quel type d'uniforme What about their attitudes toward you and your husband Leur attitude envers vous et votre mari. Answer. Réponse. They entered our house and they were of a cruel Ils sont nature. Ils entrés dans la maison. Ils étaient très shouting, cruels. Ils nous Who is the owner? Ils criaient, qui est That's how it was, uh, Qui est le propriétaire? C'est comme ça qu'ils nous l'ont dit. I came out and I told them that the owner was sorti, not in and I am not the owner. Et que je n'étais pas le propriétaire. And they kept asking, Ils I'm asking for the owner. Where is the question, owner? Où est le propriétaire? And they came in and they smashed things Et inside the house. Entrés, ils ont commencé à casser des choses dans they la maison. Destroyed the office equipment ils within ont the house, which was part of the embassy. De bureau, As for the uniform, they were Tout wearing uniforme, black uh, clothing. Des vêtements they noirs. had a tire, car tire thong. Ils avaient des they had a scarf on their neck. Et and un they were all armed with a rifle. Et tous armés d'un fusil. They threatened us and Ils nous ont menacés. They beat my husband up. Et ils ont battu mon mari. It was painful to see. C'était très difficile d'être témoin d'une question. 
when your husband your... was being beaten up, and as you told the court, there was a person who Alors came qu battait down votre mari, and asked what très... was happening. Mm -hmm. Que quelqu'un est descendu pour voir ce qui se passait. Pouvez-vous nous dire qui était cette personne Answer. At that time, Prince Norodom Kontol, he came from his room and asked what was happening. Qui est rentré dans la pièce et a demandé ce qui se passait. And when he saw the situation and that my husband was being tied up, he asked them that my husband was not the house owner and was only a guard. And that person was Prince Norodom Kontol. Propriétaire, il s'agissait du prince Norodom Kontol. Question, vous vous avez dit que vous travaillez à l'ambassade de Thaïlande avec votre mari. Et pourquoi le prince Norodom Kontol est-il venu intervenir In fact, came to Phnom Penh on the 17th April 1975, and the prince ran away from his residence, came to take refuge in the prince's Peu residence. And later on, they were also chased out of the house and be separated from one another. Then, so in fact, the prince Kontol had his residence. But he left his residence to come to the area. Quitter sa maison pour venir dans. So that means that you worked in the Thai embassy with your husband, but the house that you were in there belongs to the Princess of Princess Pe. Am I correct on this point? Am I correct on this point? Answer. Réponse. I actually worked at the Thai embassy, but the Thai embassy staff rent the house belongs to Prince or Princess Bo. Thank you. Question. Le personnel d'ambassade louait une maison qui appartenait au prince ou à la princesse Peu. Question, savez-vous ce qui est arrivé au prince Norodom Kontol après l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges Les Khmer Rouges ont-ils fait quelque chose au prince That is after what they did to you and your husband. Après, vous avez maltraité. Answer. Réponse. It was night time. Then another group of Khmer Rouge came to chase us away from the house. Le soir, le soir, un autre groupe de Khmer Rouge est venu pour nous chasser de la maison. Nous avons laissé la maison. Nous avons été séparés. Nous avons été séparés. By that time. And I did not know what happened to him. Et je ne sais pas ce qui lui est arrivé. And we separated uh, since. Et je ne l'ai jamais revu. Question. Allow me to go back a little bit. Question. Quand est-ce que le prince Norodom Kontol est venu intervenir? Est-ce que le prince Norodom Kontol est venu intervenir? And made a statement that you and your husband were only the guards of the house. Did the Khmer Rouge group and Norodom Kontol interact or what happened between them? Did the Khmer Rouge and the Prince Norodom Kontol have an interaction, a conversation? What did they do? Answer. The soldiers did not seem to react to him, and he begged them not to mistreat my husband and to release him. They did not seem to react to him. That one of the Khmer Rouge soldiers knotted his head and untied my husband's mane. Un des soldats Khmer Rouge l'a frappé à la tête et a détaché mon mari. And then there was another group of Khmer Rouge soldiers who entered the house and chased you away. They were chased 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 away. C'est bien cela. And uh, at about 8 p.m., another group of un autre groupe uh, soldiers, about soldats, five or six of them, they came to chase us away and to leave the house at night. So everybody left, and I separated from him Et since. Je ne pas vu Question. Question. How did you know? Prince Norodom Kontol. 
Comment connaissiez-vous le prince Norodom Kontor euh, il est venu à la maison. Norodom si à no, I did not know, know very detail, the details about the royal family members, as I did not know them all. But because of his status, I had a high respect for him. raison de son statut, j'avais beaucoup de respect pour lui. Mr. President, I Maître thank Salon. you, Merci, and I have no further question for the civil party. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. President, thank you. The floor is now given to Kyo Sampon's defense. So, for the questions to the civil party, you may proceed. On, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. On behalf of Mr. Kiersepon, we do not have any questions for this civil party. Thank you. Nous n'avons pas de questions à poser à cette partie civile. President, thank you. And thank you, Madame Podina. The hearing of your Merci, statement of uh, suffering and harms and your testimony has now concluded and you may be excused from the court. Your statement of harm and suffering and your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case and we wish you all the very best. And you may return to your residence court officer in collaboration with Visu. Please assist the civil party for her return to her residence or wherever she wishes to go. The hearing today has now come to an end. We will adjourn the hearing today and will resume on Tuesday the 4th. La prochaine audience of June, lieu commencing from 9 a.m. and for juin, Tuesday's uh, proceeding, à partir de 9 du we matin. will hear the testimony and the statements of harms and suffering of the civil parties, de civil uh, three civil parties in Régis. fact, namely TCCP4. TCCP 145, and lastly, TCCP 141. Tomorrow, the chamber will not have any hearing, as there are several issues to be dealt with by the chamber. And Monday next week is a national holiday for the national side, and we take it instead of the 1st of June which is the International Children's Day. Pour la this information is for the parties and the general public. Security guards were instructed to take the three accused back to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom. On Tuesday, the 4th of June 2013, before 9 a.m., as for noon, Gia take him to the holding cell downstairs, which is equipped with audio-visual equipment for him to participate and follow the proceeding. The court is now adjourned.